Hello, Kapo. What's up, gang? Thank you for sharing time with us today here at Kokua Festival. Wherever you are around the world, you chose to be with us, and we appreciate that. Right now, we're over here in Kalihi, on the island of Oahu, at the Pacific Gateway Center. Uh, PGC is our hub, where our organization, Chef Hui, we aggregate ingredients and food. We have some food production going on as well. And then we take all of this, and then we send it out to communities that need it best. It's uh, gonna unload this truck, and then we're gonna take a ride back to my house. Today, we're gonna cook a little bit of whole fish. Show you guys how we do it, local style. Let's go. That's the good stuff. She's gorgeous, and we made fresh batch of Assmaster. Big lips. Only lips. Oh, Only lips. Oh. Ask. Why don't you ask Auntie what what the Munu eats? Tell her, tell her Auntie. We tell me something about the Munu. His mother has a mustache. It feels the sand, and then with his big lips, it sucks up little crabs and it eats them. Just like that. Just like that. <laughs> Mahalo much. Are you getting in the water today? No, buddy let me go yesterday. Oh My yeah? Mom, Your mom baby duty. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for coming to town. Yeah. I appreciate it. Now that we're ready to go, we got our munu. Um, we talk about all the time in kitchens, having all your stuff together, right? Mise en place, you wanna make sure you got everything. So one, uh, one kitchen hack that we do all the time is, you guys ever put a cutting board on the ground and then the whole thing just moves all over the place and you almost slice your finger off? Okay, so take a damp towel, place it down, cutting board on top, safety first, got it? I like to leave a little overhang here so I can put my tools and just put it up. So on your knife, this is a microplane, it's a, it's a grater. You can choose to use it or not. For our dish today, we're gonna use my mother's grater because this is OG. We got some shoyu, uh, some good olive oil, mustard cabbage, veggies, veggies, veggies. Gotta eat your veggies. Uh, we're gonna just grill this whole. Coming up on here, we've got some wonderful tomatoes from Whole Farms. Uh, onions, we got a little bit of olena or turmeric, ginger, lemongrass, some beautiful potato from Maui, Mahi Pono potatoes, jalapenos, we got some citrus, cilantro, green onions. Put it together like so. Fold it all. Hero. Both sides. A little bit inside. So this style of cooking is called lavalu. Lavalu is a traditional Hawaiian method of cooking directly over the coals. Us, we lit a grill, we're gonna modify it, but if we were camping, we'd have wrapped this bad boy up and just boom, right on top of the fire. Cooking locally is important because it allows us to sort of do the best on cooking the way that our ancestors, like my grandparents cook or great grandparents cook, right? Here in Hawaii, we're an island. We have finite resources. So gotta cook what get. No more potato, ulu, sweet potato, kalo. If you don't have any of that, you don't even gotta put that either. Cooking is all about using what's around us. Here she goes. 
get her on the group. Get her in on the sides. And then roll. Salsa just means sauce. So salsas reflect like a wide range. We're just making kind of like a little, just a little fresh salsa right here. The goal is for each ingredient to balance each other out in harmony. Southeast Asians they have this wonderful sort of flavor dynamic, hot, sour, salty, sweet. So we got hot, I've got a little bit of bite from the, um, I've got a little bit of bite from the garlic, not overpowering. Sour from the lemon, as well as a little bit of acidity from the tomatoes. Salty, we got saltiness coming out of the onions. We got a little bit of salt coming out of the tomato, but also don't forget we season as well. And sweet, um, I definitely, to me, I think that the green onions mixed with the, you know, the water coming out of the tomatoes, that adds a little sweetness. And then it's sort of like a chord of music. You got highs, mids, and lows. You want all those things to be in sync. So it's been about 20 minutes. And there you go. So you can see that the big leaf at the bottom, the mustard cabbage got really nice and charred, actually charred the heck. But inside here, this part right here is nice and tender. And that's what we wanted, right? Thickest part of the fish, stick my knife right in there. And then I would test it on a sensitive part like that. I can feel it's hot. You know it's, you know it's cooked through. So in the course of 10 years, one thing that I've definitely learned is to take care of your loved one. Babe! And my loved one knows Ooh. how to taste food. Hi, honey. Hi. So while we're at it, gang, thank you to Amazon Music. The Johnson Ohana, most of all, all of you for tuning in, supporting. We love you. We hope you had a great time. If you got your cold drink, raise one up. You want to taste it? Yeah. Cheers.